There's five Lucent Barks on the board, dude. My guy. Hey guys, what's cracking? It's Kraken Nation. Uh, I managed to cook up a really cool deck, I think. I've been working on this guy for a little while now. Uh, it takes a lot of that fun of Quest Druid that ended up being a really fun deck on those first few weeks, the first week or so of the expansion, but kind of declined in competitiveness and kind of takes this new twist on it using the singleton cards. But it's not just that. Because there's so many choose one cards that also incorporate healing, which is really cool, I thought, man, why don't I try to bridge all these archetypes together into a Lucent Bark Heal Druid, Quest Druid, Highlander Druid, and all of a sudden, because there's just really good pieces to all three of these decks. And the end result is a deck that I think is going to continue to be refined, and I'll probably keep working on it. But uh, I think it's going to be pretty pretty good, honestly. I'm pretty excited to see what this deck is capable of. Um, but I'm going to take you guys a replay that was recorded live on my Twitch stream. If you guys haven't made sure to haven't followed my Twitch stream yet, make sure to go follow that. It is always very appreciated. It means a lot to me. Uh, also, make sure to join the Crack Nation Discord. But uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so that's honestly a really good hand. Just keep it open. I'm just gonna roll with that hand. So I'll, pull, I'll wait to play Zephyrus on three, probably. Oh, that's a nice, really nice. That's like basically the best draw on the deck. I'll just get the Wrath. Just to help me contest the board until my control pieces are act all right, to be active. See, this time, the, this deck really falls apart if you don't draw a Lucent Bark early. Yeah, See, okay, so example A of when you really, when I'm really happy, I pick that. This deck really, really struggles if you don't draw a Lucent Bark in the mid to late game. Like, you want to draw a Lucent Bark around 5, 6, 7 ish. But you don't want to be sitting on Lucent Bark, obviously. Um. Seems like a nice time to play that. Just deny him a board. On turn four is tough. To, like, as a turn where he'd want to make some plays. Yeah, like he just wasted two Phantom Knives. It's a turn where he'd really want to make some plays. So we're in a good spot. We can waste those turns. Um, Your wish is my suggestion. Just play Zephyrus on an empty board. Ooh, Harrison Jones. Six drop, good six drop too. Harrison Jones for draw. I have a really good turn six play already. I'm gonna go for Harrison Jones just to destroy maybe one of his hero power weapons. Like, that's interesting that it gave me Harrison Jones even though my opponent doesn't have a weapon yet. So it must know that I'm playing against a rogue. Right? That's interesting. Zephyrus' mechanic is so cool. It's a really good, well-designed card. Like, it's really cool. I do really like it. Um, so, we have a We have... We really want to draw Lucent Park. Juicy Psych Melon is, would be a really nice draw right now. So, his quest is only one... Ooh! Okay, we're just gonna... So we have two turns until we play scenario, uh, Loose and Bark anyway, so we're just gonna just dominate the board until then. And then hopefully... So is he gonna weapon? No, he's gonna do that. Okay, alright, that's fine. I'll prioritize that just in case he has a bounce effect. We'll play this. Pull out all our big cards. Scenarius is a card I've been thinking about cutting. This deck wins in the control game anyway. Scenarius doesn't really help mu that much. So... Alright, so we'll play Lo Lucent Bark next turn. <sighs> Give 
close to money. Don't try anything. Okay, so he's really close to finishing the quest too. But we've got Lucent Bark almost online. And we've got Harrison Jones to like take away a weapon and get some nice card draw. So yeah, we're just gonna drop the Lucent Bark. Okay, so we're in a good spot. Sap would Blood really shot. mess us up, Three but... Kills. Wow! Oh my god! That's insane with lackeys! I'm about to get destroyed! Okay, we're gonna just kill that before he plays that other lackey. And we'll kill that so he doesn't generate anything else. Not great because we're not in a position to activate our quest. Or, sorry, our Lucent Bark. But. If I don't have a good play, I'll just play Harrison. Ha! Huh, that sucks. Okay, if I don't have a good play, I'll just play Harrison. Um, which I don't, so. That belongs in a museum. Three left? I, I don't even have this active yet. That sucks. Behold, jewels of the sun. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, so. What's nice about Crystal Power is when you use it on minions is you can deal two damage first, and so you can get that two healing. This is kind of tough for him. How much is this worth to you? Okay. I might just drop Scenarius just as a proactive play here. Scenarius, that's the one thing that's nice about Scenarius that makes me not want to cut it. Is it's like a really decent proactive play where you just drop it on turn in the late game with the quest. It just like it's like fast stats, huge pile of stats, multiple bodies with taunt that are hard to clear. Wow, zero because this this discount doesn't matter because Okay, so you see we bought ourselves a crap ton of time. Oh you should not have done that dude. Oh my guy. You should not have done that. Okay, so we need three we have three left. Oh geez, wait no. I had one armor? I had one armor. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Well, how curious. I'm just gonna end turn. I have a really powerful comp. I have like Lucent Barks ready to roll, but I just need to get it online. I just need to get it awoke. Get it to wake the f up. And then Lucent and Bark will be ready to claim lives. That's the one he shouldn't have done. There we go. All right, and now I get a full heal off this. All right, we got three Lucent Barks online, and we are ready to go. <laughs> and if you can't kill I mean the, the, Gloop Sprayer is honestly good enough it's like, it's like a pretty good play on only one Lucent Bark if you manage to hit it on two it's basically game even against like Control Warrior I actually one card that I ended up cutting from this deck was Overflow um, Overflow just like as you can see I almost always have a full hand of cards 
Or like at least a pretty full hand. An overflow never felt good. Uh, I dare you not kill these two. Alright. There's five loosened barks on the board, dude. My guy. Another card that I had a tough time deciding whether or not to keep was um, Anubisath Defender. I have what? One, one, two, three. Three spells to activate it. Once I cut Overflow, that deck card didn't really make any sense. With the potential for obviously to get more offensive Zephyrus or um, Worthy Expedition, but. My god, you don't if you leave this one alive, or if you leave one of these alive, I'm going to make you pay. Alright, I'm gonna make you pay. Well we got the Elysiana. Once we get the Elysiana, we'll be in a really good spot. Alright. So Can I heal? Yeah, I can. Alright, that feels so good. That feels insane. Wow, that is nuts. This deck, and this is like a really good, if, when this deck curves out well, it's just so dominant. It's like unbeatable in every matchup if it curves out well, I feel like. I mean, that can be said for any deck to be fair, but it's just like, Doomsayer was a really nice addition. Dude, you cannot beat through every single wall I'm throwing at you. You have legendary skill, my friend. That's a nice card for him to draw, to be fair, but it's not gonna nothing's gonna save him. Do I? I might still even have lethal. Um, maybe not, but maybe I do. I don't know. I'm not gonna get into it. Yeah, three off. Anybody get it? No. All right, I'm just gonna. He still has so much. I have... oh my god, this is kind of insane. Wow, that was really that was really nice. This is like an example of this deck playing really well here. Need a hand, explorer. I like how every single one of the um, uh, explorers plays like a different part of the uh, track. All right, so you got that armor, huh? But I still have no GG. No reach. Wow, that was insane.